if there's a way that we could design a single volume space that has a living room, kitchen, dining, bedroom and bathroom, but that space rotates so that you could access each one of those zones. Imagine taking a bungalow and just going like that with it and folding it all up and then you just turn it. The rotating house of the future. I'd say it's a brilliant plan, except there's one thing you may not have factored in, which is something I've observed about the world, which is a thing called gravity. <laughs> and it might just scupper your plan. Why are you worrying about something as minor as that? <laughs> In a way, you're kind of right, because what's wonderful about a guy like this is he came up with something so groundbreaking, probably because he completely broke the rules. I think you might be onto something. Just don't worry about the gravity thing. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Let's face it. I wasn't going to let a little thing like gravity get in the way of us building my childhood dream. And I had... A vision. Beaming down like a structure straight out of my old comic, my vision of a space-saving home of the future will make space-age living a reality. Our house will feature a living room with seating area, a kitchen fitted with futuristic appliances, a spacious bedroom and a bathroom. But this is where my design makes a quantum leap, as every floor is also a wall. The entire house will then rotate on command, allowing each room to come into play when needed or be cleverly packed away again before rotating onto the next. This effective use of space allows us to fit an impressive 42 square metre of floor space into a tiny three metre cube. My prototype home is truly amazing space design, just not as we know it. Well, do you know what? Seriously, thank you for building this. But this space, as we know, only really comes alive when it turns. Should we go inside and have a look? Let's go and have a look. Come on, let's do it. Welcome to the amazing space's home of the future, Will. Well done, mate. You've built it beautifully. The first room you enter is our space-age hallway complete with courtyard garden, made with moss balls that need virtually no water or sunlight. To have a little piece of green within this white space just makes it feel like it's connected to nature. The hallway also features a large mirror to make sure you're looking sharp in your spacesuit. But come on, <laughs> we've got to make a turn. Should we go to mission control yeah. and make it happen? At the back is the only fixed section of the space, and it houses the launch panel to rotate the house. And there are your control buttons. Yeah. Well, you can't stay there, it's going to turn. Come on. To the place of safety. OK. Let's be transported to the kitchen. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> word, look at that! <laughs> that is unbelievable! Our clever mechanism, powered by wheelchair motors, rotates the four walls 90 degrees in just 10 seconds. That oh. is brilliant. <laughs> that is genius. Well, that's just awesome. Well, it completely transforms the way you think about habitable space. It's incredible, isn't it? Because it's the same four walls and yet we're standing in a completely different space. Push button number one. Kitchen dining mode. <laughs> so slick. So all of the kitchen is beautifully integrated into this wall. So that goes That's up. up. The most obvious challenge we faced with our kitchen was how to stop its contents crashing around during rotation. The knives and forks are beautifully magnetised against the wall. The ingenuity doesn't end there. So these are our gimbals. Nice. The cupboards were set on gravity-defying gimbals that Will designed. Oh, look at that. That movement is fantastic, isn't it? 
Sat on a counterweight, the gimbal allows objects to remain upright while our structure rotates. So does this turn? Yeah. Oh my word. It always will stay in that orientation. So that is a microwave oven. Yeah. Set within a gimbal. So we've got one more here. Yeah. Which is... Oh, a nice. little food cupboard. Oh, wicked! <laughs> Astronaut space food. Neapolitan ice cream. That's brilliant! We've got the futuristic food, now we just need to set the futuristic table. Well, how do we get the table up? Ready? Go on. Our multifunctional wall mirror is now the dining table, which sits on motorised legs that we can adjust using a remote control. So that's a pretty good table height, I think. Perfect. Have a seat, sir. Yeah? Yeah. Your ice cream sandwich is nearly served. So squeeze in. I've got little tiny blocks of strawberry. Whoa. Wow. How on earth can that be ice cream? We need to clean up, it's a mess. Yeah. With the kitchen packed away, I'm ready for a lie down. And with a simple touch of a button... That is mad! We are effortlessly transported to the next room in our prototype home. So well, this is bedroom mode, but we need to change the lighting. Ah, uh, we're just missing something, sir. Yep, a bed. Mm -hmm. This is your bedroom here, but rather than use this space, have loads of room and put it up there. Now our ingenious Miracom table has been rotated 180 degrees. It's majestic, isn't it? Nice. Its underside can be used as a suspended bed. How do we get up there? If you thought that was the biggest trick, yeah. <laughs> the ladder is the biggest trick. OK. It's so good that it comes down from the ceiling. It works like a treat. Man, that is wicked. Oh, Will! The space is beautiful, isn't it? Because the ceiling has got this gorgeous curve to it, which is the inside face of our big, thick, external curved wall. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Because it liberates all that unused space and also all this space down here. Question? Yeah. Where do I put my clothes? So we've come up with the ultimate space-saving wardrobe. One <laughs> thing to wonder. <laughs> Brilliant! Kind of vac-packed clothing. Got my top, my trousers, my vest. Wear that for bed. Mm -hmm. You've even backpacked my boxer shorts. It is the ultimate space saving wardrobe. The next room to explore is the bathroom at the back. The only stationary room because not even Will Hardy can defy gravity when it comes to having a dip. Yeah. You've managed to get a bath in. <laughs> well, a shower was obvious, but just, you know, you want a bath. That is so cool. I'm going to have to close this. I'm sorry. Bye, Will. And you've managed to do a sci-fi loo. And that leaves the fifth and final space to explore, which is just a 90-degree turn away. Fuck! That is unbelievable, isn't it? So, Will, living room mode. It's beautiful, isn't it? You ready? Yeah, go on. Oh, man. <laughs> Do you know what? That is super cool and comfortable. So, Will, shall we watch some inspirational, historical television? Yeah. Yeah? What you got in mind? Are you up for that? Yeah. Watch this, mate. Airman from the planet Earth. First step foot upon the moon. Look at that, Will. The first ever lunar landing. This build might be one small step for George Clark and William Hardy, but it's definitely one giant leap for amazing spaces. Oh, it's beautiful, Mike. It really is. I think we should toast to that. Good idea, mate. Let's have a beer. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, man, that's even better. <laughs> Fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. To the future.
and beyond. You know, when I was a nine-year-old boy, at home, reading my sci-fi comics, dreaming of building my very own futuristic home, I never in a million light years ever thought I'd get the chance to make that dream come true. But this rotating house proves that we should never abandon our amazing space's design dreams, even if, like me, you've held on to them for over 30 years.